Seriously. Let's go. We have FX Zone Waterless Fishy versus Bufobia. Yeah. This is uh, going to be a good one. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not going to lie. I, if it was maybe Thorax, it would have been crazy hype because the you back and forth between back. them two. Oh, yeah. so nice. But this is on the other side of Winter Semis, which means that Thorax is knocked into the loser's bracket. Yeah, uh, this is uh, so. This is where you kind of turn it on mm -hmm. um, is because as soon as you get to somebody that's high level like this, this is what sets the pace for the rest of your turn of your tournament, right? And you can really just coast off of the energy and the vibes that you got from that particular match. Um, and you know, here's the thing with Gabe is that they he does such a good job when it comes to capitalizing on the options that give him the most return for his reward uh, for his uh, his efforts, right? Good stuff. Just holding on to the ledge. Yeah. Load registration is open for Low Tier City 3, by the way, folks. Um, Google Low Tier City 3. All right. But moving into that, good down smash. Nice. Lasers straight onto the dome. Oh, and he tried to get the down air, but it wasn't the quite uh, the correct hitbox. Ends up sending uh, Waterless Fishy back on stage. And that air means that Waterless Fishy is up two stocks right now on Mufobia. Yeah, it's a good start. Um, Mu getting. Oh, that's how you do it. That forward tilt. The, the thing that's so important in this matchup is tilts in general. And when it comes to ledge guarding, um, you'll see things where down forward tilt will win you stocks, um, particularly in this matchup. So, uh, bear. Now, what Gabe is trying to do is hold center stage, use those bears, and box out Mufobia because Falco's off the stage. He's a bird, but he's honestly a turkey. This dude can't fly. <laughs> Nothing. I think he's a. I think he's a dodo. <laughs> he, he's a. Yeah, this <laughs> dude is dodo. the last of the dodos. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, up tilt. That, this is what's so important. Uh, one of the best things that you can do is using up tilt with Falco. Um, it's a cool anti air, and it's a good way to continue combos mm -hmm. going. And it works with Fox too. This works better with Falco because you can do that and go into another shine, and then you get all these fun combos and pillaring and stuff. It's really good. Oh, yeah. And he's going to need some great pillars here, seeing as Mufobia, he's down to his last stock. Waterless Fishy still has two. I think that uh, Mufobia probably will be looking for a bear if he can make it back, but no. Gabe with that nice edge hog means that he takes that with a solid three stock. Yeah, he set it up really solid with those uh, auto cancel bears, man. Auto cancel bears are the truth because you do auto cancel bear shine, auto cancel bear shine, and you just keep that moving, man, because you can jump cancel shine. You just have this continuous pressure of onslaught. And especially when you're at the edges, you can make some craziness happen. Getting back in. Um, look, that was really good. So you shine wave, uh, wave dash and shine on the other side. You are just betting the farm that your opponent's going to press a button, period. And Shine will beat a clean. Excellent stuff on the tech chase. Mm -hmm. And wow, but a quick Shine. And you know, sometimes those Shines can act as combo breakers. Mm -hmm. And it comes out so quickly. Ended up making it so that it was a reversal uh, in favor of Mufobi, actually. Good. I like it. Drop down bear. Okay, wait. Wait. Oh, no, no, no. He, he went yeah. to him. He, here's the thing. Be. You did a good job of using the auto cancel bear. It's a safe approach, and you have great positioning. Everything is in your favor. I, I think I feel like in those situations, it's all the all the pressure is on the opponent to make the decision whenever they're on the sides or off stage on what they're doing, and you simply punish. You know, I feel like this was such a great counter pick from Mufobia. Uh, Gabe likes to play a more defense oriented, uh, reactive. Fox. And these close quarters means that he's not going to be having as easy of a time playing his game. But that being said, he's doing a really good job making the adjustments he needs to, seeing as he's up an entire stock against Mufovia. Oh, oh wow. this is bad for Mu. Mu is trying to force gain control. Yeah, he's he forcing options. Ooh. Ooh, no, no, he's fine. He's fine. Oh, yeah, is he? Oh, is go. he? There you go. There you go. Yeah, but, but I, I mean... He's essentially trying to force some of these options, uh, brute force them. And what we're seeing is Gabe's patience paying off in dividends. He's content to stay in his shield, wait for Mu to make a bad choice as far as his offense goes, and then punish with a quick shine. Right, and this is where um, patience overall can be very rewarding. Um, so for me, just an example is I was playing against a couple of people early in our friendlies. And because I'm playing Marth, I, I know my zoning and I know the, I'm know i well aware of those areas that I can threaten. And because of that, 
Oh, wow, that was really close. Mm. Um, and because of that, I understand exactly where my timing is and what I can threaten. And I know when to wait and when to go in. And that is a constant struggle that's happening right now. Oh, yeah. And that's definitely biting Mufobia right now as he's down to his last stock. This could be his last stock on the winner's side if he doesn't make a huge play here. He needs a massive combo, and that shine is going to help him out if he can manage to get one in. Like we said, Gabe's patience really paying off in this set. Oh, good stuff on the tech chase. Nice. He, needs, he puts the laser there to keep fa uh, Gabe in place. Okay, so that was interesting because the forward smash actually moves the entire character to mm -hmm. some extent, even though it didn't hit, because Gabe wasn't super perfect on the punish of it, he had enough time to set up for the bear. And right now we've seen a complete reversal as Mufobia, he had the lead for temporarily. Lands back on Randall. How is he going to make it back? He doesn't have a jump here. He He's has going to use to that side B. And that That's means that Gabe takes that 2-0 over Mufobia, sending him to the loser's bracket. Mu didn't really get his rhythm going. There was never a series or a string where we're saying, man, Mu is really dictating. Mu is really in control. And it always kind of fluctuated. Uh, more so that patience paid off against Mu, who was constantly having to make those guesses, make those assumptions, be proactive in his mentality, and read against Gabe. But Gabe, playing smart very well, using his uh, reactive options, and um, using defense and patience properly. Indeed.